happy day. What? Neela? Throw down the ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! There they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper! You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it! That double-crossing cockney liar! What a whore! Oh, she's gonna get it. Next mission. Except now I think that... Though statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. Oh, no. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect. And with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shell. Ugh, screw stick shift, man. Oh my god. Wow, what a freaking whore! Oh, she is so dead. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to take out the spider dude girl now? No! No! And I'm not gonna have Sly or Murray. Maybe it'll be easier and quicker, though, if we, uh... Since we don't have the other two guys here. So, Rajan... Dimitri... And now, I don't remember her name, Scar- I'm just gonna call her Scarlett Johansson, get it? Cause, you know, like, Scar- okay, yeah. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's do this, baby. Jailbreak, ooh. This looks- this one looks like it's gonna be in, like, a creepy castle. I hate spiders, please don't be, like, little mini spider people, please. Please, dear god, please don't be mini spiders. Please! It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious Towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. 
And if I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes. And I'll be out two best friends. No! Not selling shoes! No! So, what, I get to only play as Bentley? Oh well, maybe that'll be less missions and it'll be a, probably go a lot faster than the the other ones, since you don't have to go and switch them and whatever else. But the thing is, now I'm not gonna be able to, like, climb anything. That was, like, cool. And this place looks like it would be... Yeah, look at this place. This place looks like it'd be awesome for climbing. Hell yeah. Oh, poor Bentley's all alone. Probably not for long. He's probably gonna, like, rescue them and we're gonna have to do other things here. So what do we got? Yeah, see? They have uh, other things they can buy. Alarm clock. Confuse your enemies with this directing arm. Blah, blah, blah. Run like a turtle has never run before. You don't have enough... Whew. Adrenaline burst. I kind of want that. I'm not going to lie. But we don't play as Bentley enough. Always, I'm always going to buy something for Sly first because he um, seems like I'm going to be playing him the most and I don't really... Sh Maybe I should have bought some things for Bentley. Yeah, well. I can put him to sleep. Let's get out of there. All right, Bentley, let's do this, baby. I should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. How do they not see this? Come on, it's right here. Look, all of you, look. It's right here. Right here. <laughs> so they have... So their guards are vultures. What do, what do we have on the top? We have, like... Hang on, I can't really see. Camera's screwing up. Uh, it looks like... Wolves, like some type of werewolves. Oh man, this is like a Halloween. This would have been great to play it ha in Halloween. Hell yeah. Alright. Yeah, this look at all this climbing. This definitely looks like something for Sly. I'm sure we're probably going to rescue them. And then we're going to have to do other things with them here. Except now. Yeah, look. Like this barrel. Can't do anything there. Yeah, there's stuff to climb all over the place. Where am I supposed to go? Oh god, I got to go way over there. Holy hell. Okay, let's put this stuff... To Wait a second. There's something to be unlocked here. Apparently you can get keys now. Probably something new that we're gonna learn. Probably. Gotta go across the bridge. The bridge! Oh man, that's a bat. Oh god. Alright, let me put in the... Sleep. Oh god, the gargoyles! They come alive! Ah! Ah! The gargoyles! They come alive! Oh my god, how the hell am I supposed to get away over there? To get way up there in that building. Oh god, there's a tank! What the hell? Holy hell! Oh my god! Oh my holy hell! Okay. Uh oh, there's stairs. Ow! Holy hell, they have a lot more freaking traps and crap. My god. Talk about high security. Damn straight. So it seems like all of the cops are bad guys. She said her husband myster- or Bentley said the husband mysteriously died. And now freaking Nyla being the whore that she is. Am I supposed to- Oh god. Oh, there we go. Aha! The Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great! If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. Sweet. So what, I gotta stay up here and try to hit her? Oh, oh man, she just went fast. There we go. The claw gang is falling apart. Spice shipments have all but stopped. <sighs> I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, they'll see it my way soon enough. She's... Part of the claw gang? I knew it. That whore. You whore. Those fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. 
If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. I knew it. Don't ever trust spiders, people. Don't ever freaking trust them. That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. I hate spiders. And at the end of this, trust me, they're all oh, missed ya. I missed ya. Where'd you go? Oh, I see ya. Oh! Oh! Damn it. Oh, I see ya. Man, how do you go so fast? That's like Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in. And I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time! I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. The hole. Every prison has something like that. They're not all called the hole. Some called like the pit. So what, I gotta go probably all the way back to the hideout. We'll see. Might as well cut that out. Oh, how am I gonna get past this tank? Oh god. Oh! Run! Oh god. I ran right into that guy. Hey, it spawned me way back here. Sweet. Where, <laughs> it spawned me where I was supposed to go, I think. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. Interesting. So what do I, can I jump? Oh, God. Okay, don't want to stay on the train track, apparently. Alright, good to know. That train will run me over, and it will not be good. Oh, no. Uh, nothing like a good computer hack job. Now, the left analog stick should control my cyber avatar. Yeah, except where do I go? Oh, wait a second. Here we go. Okay. I'll have to hack through these barrier nodes. I should move the right analog stick in the direction I want to unleash my hacker code. My hacker code? Oh, oh, they move with me. I have to destroy all of them. Oh, great. Fantastic. By using both analog sticks at the same time, I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. Oh, God. Gotta love freaking minigames. And I have to do this for six of them? Oh, that wasn't too long. Never mind. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. So, it's gonna be easier for me to freaking get seen, is it? Or get hit. I don't wanna get hit. Alright. Oh man, I got a feeling I'm gonna get hit by this. I'm going to. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, coursing through my. Ow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> things are hard to dodge. So close quartered. I guess, can I just... I think I can shoot their bullets, actually. Do this ricochet? No, they don't. Lame. Oh, well. Alright, what do we got down here? Oh, God. Oh! Oh, good luck catching me. Ow, 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 ow. Good luck catching me. Good luck catching me. Oh, so what? Oh, okay. I can just go past all of them. Nice. Two down, four more to go. Four more to go. They ain't, yeah, they ain't too long. I thought maybe they would have been longer, but they're not. Right, looks like I can cut through here. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, right here. Probably don't want to go on the train tracks either. 
losing my voice again. What the hell? I don't understand. Oh god, I have to get over there while hitting these things? Oh, man. Shoot, 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 shoot. One, one row down. Two more to go. Shoot! Go, 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 go! Two, or, yeah, two rows down. One to go. I think I said that before. Oh, my, my bad. Just go! Go! Ooh! Gotcha!